I've had coffee with this lovely lady yes, many we, times. We must be the Duke and Duchess of South <laughs> today. <laughs> On our throne. <laughs> yeah, tell you what, a good coffee, especially with this cold weather, because Absolutely. it's getting very chilly, really chilly over the next few days. We've got some lovely weather pictures, Ed. Maureen Coles took this shot of Mamata's clouds in Portsmouth. They typically hang underneath the base of a cumulonimbus cloud. Andy Knowles captured a rainbow over my favourite place, Sandbanks in Dorset. And Ray Dittrich photographed flooding in Brockenhurst. We have had a good deal of rain over the last few days and we'll continue to see some outbreaks of rain and showers at times through the course of the next few days. This scene taken by one of our weather watchers is a cumulonimbus cloud taken off the Isle of Wight near Brook. So through the course of tomorrow, we'll have some frost in the morning, perhaps some mist and fog patches. And we are expecting rain and showers. Not everyone will have the rain and showers. There will be some dry weather as well. A few sharp showers tonight, even the old rumble of thunder and some lightning strikes, especially along southern coastal counties in the Isle of Wight. And a band of rain will move its way southwards. This band of rain has been sitting over the north and the Midlands really for the last 24 hours. It slowly creeps its way southwards during the course of the night. But where we have the clear skies, mist and fog patches may form and patchy frost is a possibility. Now the showers may continue down for the southeast. We'll see the rain start to move southwards for some of us, but there will be some drier interludes as well and perhaps some brighter, sunnier intervals during the afternoon into tomorrow evening with temperatures peaking at around 9 to 10 degrees. There will be a northerly breeze, so on the inshore waters, the winds are northerly 5 to 6, becoming variable 3 or 4, then southerly 5 to 7 later. The visibility is good, occasionally moderate, and the sea state is slight to moderate, becoming smooth. So tomorrow night we lose the showers or any rainfall and the cloud and it turns very chilly under the clear skies. We're looking at minus figures, minus three Celsius in some areas. So a very chilly start to the day on Saturday, a widespread frost in many locations and some mist and fog patches. Saturday starts on a dry and a bright note, but it won't stay that way because we're expecting this weather front to move its way in. It hits the cold air over the country and as a result could turn wintry, perhaps some sleet over hills, even some wet snow in some places. So wintry mix of rain, sleet and snow through the course of Saturday daytime, courtesy of that area of low pressure. Through the course of tomorrow, we'll have a number of showers. They could be heavy in a few places, but not everyone will have them. And then we start to see rain sinking its way southwards. Saturday, a fairly wet day with rain during the course of the day after a bright start. Sunday's the better day of the weekend where we'll see a wet start in many locations, but turning drier and brighter through the course of the day. It'll be cold in Benson. Oh, it will it be will cold be. in the usual cold spot of Benson. <laughs> Alexis, thank you very much. BBC Children Need, of course, will be...